Hi, this is Susanna from Hold It Right There Sewing Patterns. I made this Ludlow wristlet using acrylic templates. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use them. High quality acrylic templates are available for my patterns at thattemplateshop.com. You'll find the website and links to supplies below. Among the supplies I suggest is a rotating cutting mat. This makes using the acrylic template so much easier. Because of the irregular shapes of bag pieces, smaller rotary cutters are helpful. I will be using a 45mm and a 28mm rotary cutter. Non-slip adhesive tape, such as True Grips, will help to keep your templates from slipping while you're using them. When you receive your laser cut templates from that template shop, you will need to peel off the protective paper on the right side of the template. On the wrong side of the template piece, apply the non-slip adhesive tape. Fusing woven interfacing to the wrong side of your fabric before you begin can help make using a rotary cutter and your templates easier. I did this especially with this fabric because it is rayon and much more slippery than quilting weight cotton. Even if you're not interfacing your fabric first, definitely iron it to get the best results. One of my favorite things about the acrylic templates is that because they're clear, you can perfectly place them to capture a detail that you like in the fabric so that it will appear in your finished bag exactly where you want it to. This is also known as fussy cutting. My cutting mat rotates 360 degrees, making it much easier to cut out my template with my rotary cutter. I can turn it as I need it without shifting the fabric or the template. If your rotary cutting blade has a skip in it like mine did, it's time to switch it. It means it's not sharp anymore and you need to replace it. As I'm cutting out this flat piece for my Winslet wallet sewing pattern, you can see what a difference it makes to replace the blade in my rotary cutter. If you're not using fabric with a directional print and you're not fussy cutting, using the templates to cut out multiple pieces is really fast and easy. While I only have one layer of fabric here that I'm working with, I could stack several layers together and cut them all at once simultaneously. Using the cutout in the template, I can easily mark the insertion point for my magnetic snap. Cutting out the cork overlay accent piece for this Ludlow wristlet with the template was so much easier. I prepped these two cork pieces for a Ludlow I have underway right now, and I'm going to demonstrate how to cut these out using the accent template piece. I bought this beautiful light mint green cork from Beans and Peanuts, a shop on Etsy, and it's just the right size to cut out my two accent pieces. As you can see though, it's a really tight fit and I have to be careful how I cut out these pieces. You can cut out the accent piece with a rotary cutter, but since this is an overlay and the raw edge is going to show on my finished bag, I found I have more control with a pair of sharp scissors after having traced the, the accent piece using the template. However, if the cork, leather, or vinyl is going to be sewn into the bag and there isn't a raw edge that's showing in your finished bag, a rotary cutter with the template is a great tool to use. With the cork placed wrong side up, I trace around the template using a pen.
With a sharp pair of scissors, I'm ready to cut out my traced accent pieces. I hope you found this tutorial on using acrylic templates helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy sewing.